Hawaii is bracing for Hurricane Madeline tonight, and that could mean trouble for local travelers. Madeline is expected to make landfall on the Big Island early Thursday morning. People are now stocking up on food and water and boarding up their homes in preparation. Following Madeline's tail is Hurricane Lester. It's not expected to hit, but could soak the islands with more heavy rain. It's all impacting travel, including here at LAX, and that's where CBS News Jeff Nguyen is live, where he spoke to travelers who were eager to get home. Jeff. We saw some delays here at LAX earlier, and tonight we spoke to some vacationers who told us they feel very lucky to come home just in time. Kind of thankful that we're coming back right before it, but sad to see that we're leaving someone behind. Crystal Padilla and Jeremy Duque just came home from their vacation to Hawaii, but the next day or so will be tense as Hurricane Madeline, seen in this satellite image, makes her way across the Pacific. Sandbags have been stacked to prepare for what's ahead. When we were there, there was one night it was raining really hard. It was really scary, actually, so I can't imagine if a hurricane is actually going over how much worse it would be. Apparently, you're taking some extra precautions this time. The biggest threat is to the Big Island, where news anchor Pat Harvey was vacationing with her husband. They got this warning letter this morning telling them their hotel would shut down. They didn't want to take any chances, so they headed to the airport to come home. We just figured we beat the rush because we imagine as more and more people find out about this alert, it's going to be really difficult getting out tomorrow. As for Jeremy Duque, his family went through Hurricane Iniki, but they managed to dodge three others. So now he can only wait to see what's next. We just hope and pray for the best, but um, over there, uh, like I said, we just kind of live life like uh, kind of carefree. It's like when it comes, it comes, you know. We've been checking flight schedules for tonight and tomorrow morning, and so far there have been no cancellations.